Students, this is NCERT in-text question from Chemistry in Everyday Life, right? So, it is problem number 16.4. So, let's read the statement. Write the chemical equation for preparing sodium soap from glyceryl oleate and glyceryl palmitate, right? Structural formula of these compounds are given below, right? So, in this question, you have to prepare sodium soap from these two compounds, right? The first one is glyceryl palmitate. And the next one is glyceryl oleate, right? So, let's see the first one that is glyceryl palmitate. The structural formula of glyceryl palmitate is CH2O, C double bond O, C15, H31, right? So, here I'll have CHO, C double bond O, C15, H31 again CH2 CO C double bond O C15 H31. So, this is the formula of glyceryl palmitate, right? So, we'll add sodium hydroxide in it to prepare sodium soap from glyceryl palmitate, right? So, in this condition, we'll heat this solution. So, what will happen? Uh, if you'll see, this sodium hydroxide will dissociate as NaO negative H positive, right? And this glyceryl palmitate will be dissociated as bond between this oxygen and C double bond O will be dissociated, right? So, these bonds will be dissociated. So, the compound that is dissociated is CH2O negative CH. O negative and CH2O negative, right? And you'll have rest of the compound C double bond O and will have positive charge over here C15 H31. Again, this C double bond O will carry positive charge and C15 H31. One more C double bond O with positive charge and C15. H31, right? Now, this NaO negative will attack on this positive charge, right? So, obviously, we are having 3 NaO negative. Now, these 3 NaO negative will attack on these 3 C double bond O, C15, H31, right? So, you will have first salt that will be C15, H31, COO, a. You'll get three molecules of C15H31COONA plus the rest. This H positive will attack over here, right? So you'll have glycerol CH2OH, CHOH, and then CH2OH with this, right? So this is sodium. palmitate right and this is also known as so plus this is glycerol right so now let's see the next one that is glyceryl oleate the second one is glyceryl oleate right so let's see the structural formula of glyceryl oleate that will be CH2O, C double bond O, C17, H33, right? And uh, again, this will attach with CHO, C double bond O, C17, H33. The next one will be CH2O, C double bond O, C17, H33, right? So, you'll add again 3NaOH in it and will heat this solution, right? So again, we'll see the dissociation of these molecules, right? So, you can mention over here, this is glyceryl oleate. This NaOH will dissociate in 3NaO negative plus 3 
H positive. Now, if we'll see the dissociation of this molecule, it will be dissociated from this place, right? So definitely, I'll have CH two O negative, CH O negative, and CH two O negative. Rest, I'll have C double bond O carry positive charge over here. C seventeen H thirty. Three. We'll have three molecules, so you can mention over here C double bond O with positive charge C seventeen H thirty three, and the last one will be C double bond O positive C seventeen H thirty three. Now we know that this N A O negative will attack on this positive charge. This H positive will attack on this negative charge, right? So you can mention over here this negative charge will attack over. Here, right? So definitely, this positive charge, H positive, will attack over here. So our final compound will be. So first, I'll get sodium oleate. So definitely, three molecules of C seventeen H thirty three C O O N A plus. I'll get glycerol, right? So H positive will attack over here. So the formula of glycerol will be C H two. O H C H O H and C H two O H. Now this is sodium oleate, right? It is also known as soap, and this is glycerol.